Here are three generations of Burroughs calculator side by side. The first one is here on the left. It was first made in about 1911 and was only in production for three years because Felton Tarrant sued them. It looked far too much like the Comptometer. It has the same size and shape of case and there's this whole area at the back and that's because there are long levers underneath here driven by the keys and those levers drive the number wheels. The case even has the same sort of uh, shape of front plate here, front cover, but internally the mechanism is very different. It's a uh, it's clearing mechanism. If you when you pull this lever, it brings all the numbers up to nine, and then when you let go, it adds one. Uh, and then the register overflows to all zeros. In 1915 they came up with this second generation version. This has a different case and they return to the classic green and black uh, colour scheme that they used in all their other machines. It has, uh, has nice these nice legs, these moulded legs. On the back it has uh, extensions, extended legs. These can be uh, removed by unscrewing them so that you can then put the rubber foot directly onto the case here. So not all machines of this, uh, this age have these extended legs. You can also see that uh, uh, the, the keyboard mechanism must be entirely different because it no longer has this whole area at the back so it doesn't have these long levers underneath. Uh, and uh, you'll, it'll even uh, block you trying to press down two keys at the same time in the same column. You can't do it. You can only press one at a time. That's not the case on this older machine here. You can press uh, two or more keys at the same time and then it's, it just depends which keys they are, what, what you uh, get here at the front. Another improvement is in the clearing mechanism. When you pull this lever, the digits just drop down to zero automatically. They don't go up to nine and then roll over, they just drop down. And it's the springs in the mechanism that are used for the carry um, carry operation, those pull the uh, digits back down to zero. The handle, the clearing handle is pretty much the same. They, uh, they can be removed if you pull hard enough. The old uh, generation has a, a short pin at the end of the uh, lever, whereas uh, this version and later machines have a longer pin. But other than that, the levers are exactly the same. This particular machine uh, has uh, fractions, so this last wheel counts eighths. It's missing a few key tops, this one and a few others have been replaced with uh, random keys. The, uh, the case here has, has a lock. There's a small hole, round hole here that, uh, that takes a key that allows you to unlock uh, the case and open it and get access to the mechanism. This older machine also has a lock. It's been uh, broken so that you can actually just get into it yourself. But they didn't want the users to actually uh, service the, uh, the mechanism inside. This second generation was in production from 1915 until the mid-1930s. But uh, in around 1928 they uh, started producing a, a baby a calculator with only six co columns, or six digits and five columns of keys. 
At first they had these also in, in the black and green uh, colours, but this is a later one. This one is from the 1940s. These baby calculators were produced from 1928 until the 1960s. It has a much simpler case. Instead of these moulded uh, uh, or cast iron feet, they just have a flat, uh, a flat base with rubber feet uh, screwed into it. Mechanically, these baby calculators are essentially the same as the normal sized calculators. But since this is a later one, it does have some improvements over this earlier version. In particular, the clearing mechanism of this one is slightly safer to use. On this older machine, it's possible to, uh, to pull the lever only slightly and return it before all the numbers have been cleared. And you can then continue to work. It does, if you pull, while you pull the lever, it does block the key, so you can't press keys while you are clearing the mechanism, clearing the register, but it is possible to clear it only partially. On this machine that is not the case. Once you start the movement, you hear, you hear a click, and that means that you cannot um, continue work, the keyboard is locked, until you complete the whole movement, then it unlocks. You can see this nice logo at the front, it's uh, uh, something that's uh, glued on, I think, uh, erased uh, burrows. This machine, I think it should have a, a decal at the front, but that's missing. It does still have one on the back. If you look closely here, you can see the Burroughs logo in a decal. The older one also has a decal at the front, but there you can see the O in Burroughs actually has a slash going through it. This is the oldest logo we have here. It was changed for the second generation. So th this was a comparison of all the different Burroughs calculators. Thank you for watching.